So my question is that um, I couldn't find any evidence that wet impurities transfer. So is it permissible for me to just neglect the ruling since there is a difference of opinion on the issue and there is no evidence for it, especially if I feel the ruling to be difficult to follow due to my previous carelessness? Carelessness. First of all, it's not up to you to choose what to follow and what not to follow. <clears throat> if you're not a student of knowledge that has the ability, that has the necessary tools to search and investigate, you cannot just shoot from the hip and say, but because I was negligent and lazy and now the whole house is soiled with najasa, so I search in Islam uh, uh, web, Islam Q&A, and didn't find anything satisfactory, so everything is okay. It's not up to you. This is to the scholars to judge and say their verdict. And the issue of people with OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, regarding impurities and issues of najasa. <clears throat> Some people are so negligent, even if they say, see impurities in front of them, they would say, no, this is dried or anything. I, I, I could, could care less. Okay, wash it. So, no, I don't want to. And they walk with wet feet on it while they still see the traces of najasa and they know it's impure. And then you come out of nowhere saying that I couldn't find any evidences proving that it transfers after drying. Why did the Prophet ﷺ order the companions to pour a bucket of water on the urine of the Bedouin who urinated in the masjid? He might have well told them to just leave it until it dries off. This is something that it's not, this is not the place to discuss it, but to answer your question, Sami, no, you're not qualified to get uh, such a ruling, and Allah Azza wa <clears throat> knows best.